you going, guys? We're back here again with some more Brawl here in MG Arena. Today, we're checking out Roisin Roaring Prophet. Uh, we are in Elf Tribal deck. And I'm liking this. This should be fine. Huh. So one of the new things we got, Priests of Titania. Plus one, plus one for every L. You love to see it. Uh, I might go into Oracle of Modaya next turn if I have to. I guess I do. That is... Hmm. No good. All right, we actually got it some way. Love to see it. Where's our one again? We're being Skrixis, so they have access to cheap Red Wrath and then a couple of good Blue Wrath. Not Blue. Uh, actually, Blue has okay Wrath. Um. Hmm. And do Bloodbraid Elf? To Cly. <laughs> Cascade does not work very well with, um... Does not work very well with X spells, but... Red Elves are in short supply. And Bloodbraid, probably one of the best ones. Yes, opponent. We have ramped exceedingly hard. Oh, my goodness. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to try to kill you. Ah. Do one ring? We have a Marwin as our backup priest because it's probably going to get stunned, although they might both get stunned this turn, which would kind of suck. But what are you going to do? Very difficult to stop all of our shenanigans. Although, maybe. Bring raid? My Morrowind. I've not seen a ring race play. Probably because the uncommon Nazgul are just better. <laughs> just better. Um, uh, if my things weren't tapped, I would just win next turn. But my things are tapped. Bad. Well. Opponent? You do have to discard a card. Difficult decision, I know. Are they considering discarding their mountain? Hmm. The choices are bad, unfortunately. There's a green source again. Hmm. Uh, so, seven? Hmm. 
Okay. I get my great change back, which is nice. Probably should have tapped. Was there a window? There probably was a window to tap it. I imagine. Are we uh, last dish Sauroning? Reese Titania is really good. I have not played it in Historic Elves yet, but I do intend to at some point. One more combat. Yep, okay. Do they intend to attack and deal combat damage? I have creatures of lower and higher power so I can block the Nazgul. And the Ring Wraith will also get blocked pretty easily. And I'm, I'm drawing a finale of Devastation, so we just Cast that for 10. Sure, library. Great enough. GG. That is uh, a lot of power. A lot, a lot of power. 5 times 20. Close to 100. Some of them were a little bit over. Uh, I've been pretty fast today, but I have played a lot of Arena. Maybe it's just... Pause. We are back in with the game, dude. Do not know what that was about. Arena, a day and a half after the uh, the launch of a new set, tends to be a bit a bit buggy. So uh, we'll give it some slack. Uh, not yet. We can wait for turn two. I'll take that one. Yeah, I had somebody randomly heist-like effect something from uh, a card from my library, and they got this. And I realized that it was a plus one. It wasn't heist. It was something similar-ish. Reveal top of an opponent's library and cast a spell, that kind of thing. And, uh, boy, was that something. Stage Road, Midnight Clock. Okay. Um, uh, probably just want to draw a card. I'm gonna get my second red source here shortly. We actually drew a mana dork, so Freilis is gonna be good too. Dry 2, Part 2, Extended Edition. Alright, Red Source, number 2. We're running a lot of basics in this deck because it is a uh, Virtue deck, and Virtue decks do love their basics. Take action. We will run. Next turn we'll actually get a decent uh, high mana producing dork on the field. And from there we'll be able to uh, hopefully cast a verdant rejuvenation. In this deck it's very hard to get a verdant rejuvenation higher than four. Which is bad. It's really really bad but 
even at four, it tends to find useful things. So I'm, I'm not complaining too much. Artifact or creature. Okay. Become the treasure. Probably the huntmaster, I imagine. It's the only thing that does anything. I mean, you can tap the mana dork to make it a treasure, but. Up to one. Okay, I, I guess you can just also blink it to fix the problem. No, no, that one, yeah, okay. Oh. I, how much mana can I generate? Two, three, five, six. Seven. Eight. Not enough, but uh, it's good enough for this. Next time we can tooth a nail to actually just solve the problem. If we're allowed to, we might not be allowed to. That is a possibility. But if we are, we grab Crater Hoof. I don't think I have another hay creature to grab. So maybe just a Lord. Can we go from there? That is the plan. Very nice lands. Good Lord of the Rings. Oi, oi, oi. Don't do that, opponent. Morrowind. We missed. Unfortunately, it's the additional four mana that's going to be the problem. Think. I don't know though. It might not be. Hmm. Entwined a tooth and nail? That worked? Okay. I think we win. GG. I thought that there might be a counterspell there, but there wasn't, which was a pleasant surprise. These days you see two islands untapped and you think to yourself, there's no way. No way. Mana Drain and Counterspell are legal in the format? Like, that is... That is a recipe for every spell being countered. And Wash Away? Wash Away is so common. Ugh. Blue's got good toys. Green's got good toys. White, I mean... I think the most common white card is probably Esper Sentinel. Just because it is a very good, very early card draw option for white decks. It doesn't have the same ubiquitousness as uh, some of the stuff you see in green and blue. And then in black you have uh, Orcish Bellmasters. Who are like head and shoulders. One of the best things you can be doing with your time. So we're going to go into Elvish Warmaster, into Elvish Arch Druid, and if our opponent can't answer our elves, we are good to go. 
Yuma Proud Protector. From Thunder Junction Commander, right? Nissa Sleeves, very nice. Mulch. What's a mulch? This is a card that I've been running in a lot of decks, but I have not had this chance to cast it or use it yet. I don't really want to, but I haven't drawn it a lot, and I haven't had big enough creatures to use it, so... Alright, opponent. I can see that you are also on the ramp until you die plan. Okay. We do have basics. That's a good start. Uh, I think I'll... Start the attacking. Next turn I can cord for three. Actually, at maximum I can cord for five, but I don't think I have a good five drop in the deck. So three's probably... I could also sacrifice my Elvish War Master to gain three life and draw three cards. Which would not be great, but possible. It's something I've considered. Azusa, man. Azusa is one of those cards that is either insanely broken and destroys the destroys the game, or it's uh not useful in the slightest, and no, or I can actually get six. What's the best thing I can get? I don't usually have my six drops, do I? Nope. The best I have is a four drop. Uh, I kind of want to ramp quickly, but this is probably the better choice. Just because she can create copies of my lord. Rude opponent. Oh my god. Well, we can't counter spells anymore. You are a land drop. Oh, uh, Rumbreaker is actually pretty good against this deck. You have one. Oh, actually, you have four. Better than I thought. Better than I thought. Uh, swing out with the team. Five life and four zero ones. Opponent, what can we do? We killed everything we needed to last turn. And this guy did not provide. Does not provide trample, so we're not interested in him. Oh, more master triggering again. Jean Miranda. Gonna hopefully 
from among them. So it doesn't matter that we have one. It's worth it. I don't think it is. If we had just pumped our team, we probably would be in a better spot, but... We took the damage? What? Uh, do you do something with these plants? Oh, the retreat. Okay, well, counter on everything. Not bad. Oh, no, we're making cats. Don't know if that helps. Do they need, at this point, they need. They need one of every creature that we have. The Alex Lord Shepherd just does what he does. We can't afford to have casualties. And this eliminates spot removal as a way out. They could have asked to exiled Keen Miranda. Allosaurus Shepherd would have only done one damage. And that would not be two. So we'd be dead. Oh, is in the tank, though. GG. Well, I think I'm going to end her off there for now. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a little like. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.